Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of converting units. This is standard 6.4H in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 11 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a simple conversion problem within the same system. So we are using the customary system for weight. We have Ms. Torres mailing a package that weighs, and here we have our one number that we're gonna start with, 12.5 pounds. The post office charges by ounce, and so how many ounces does that package weigh? So we need to change this 12.5 pounds I'm going to use the abbreviation for pounds LBS, which makes no sense at all because there's no L or there's no B in pounds, but that's what the abbreviation is, equals blank ounces. And so we're going to use OZ to represent ounces. Well, the one thing we need to know is how many ounces are in a pound. And so that is going to be, if you're on the star test, if you're not sure of how many ounces are on a pound, or how many feet are in a yard, how many inches are in a yard, always look on the uh, reference chart that they give you, your equation chart, because we do actually have that in here. And so we know that there are 16 ounces equals one pound. So that's gonna be our one conversion that we're gonna need to memorize. 16 ounces, these are dry ounces, and normally we just call them ounces but we have to make a difference there because sometimes we have fluid ounces and we're dealing with capacity and there's eight fluid ounces in a cup and it gets confusing because one is for weight and one is for capacity. But we're talking about 16 dry ounces in a pound. Now how do we change that into our 12.5 pounds? Well, two ways we could do it. The simple way is to remember when you are going from big to little and so we, we just remember big to little is multiply. And when you're going from little to big, we divide. Those, those are the two options we're going to have here. We're going to either multiply or we're going to divide. And so we're going from big to little. So pounds are bigger, put a little greater than sign, ounces, therefore we are going to multiply. Now how do I know that we're going to multiply? Well, let's make a strip diagram here and let's pretend we've got our 12 I'm just gonna pretend we've got our 12.5 ounces here so I'm gonna say we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 little lines that makes 12 and then I'm gonna have a little 0.5 over here inside each of these is gonna be 16 16 ounces, 16 ounces, 16 ounces and we're gonna do the 16 all the way across and so you see inside each of these 12.5 pounds is going to be 16 ounces. The only difference is on that 0.5 at the end, we're going to make that 8 because that's half. And so I could just add all of these up. A simpler way to do it would be to multiply. So we're going to say 12.5, multiply that by 16. And we're going to go ahead and just ignore that decimal for right now. So 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 2 is 12. Add that 3 is 15. 6 times 1 is 6. Add that 1 is 7. Let's get rid of these right here. Second row is easy, put a zero because it starts in the tens place and we just write down one, two, five, one, two, five. Make sure they're all still lined up because it is multiplying by one here. And we get zero, zero, and that's gonna be another zero. That's a lot of zeros. And look at that. We might think 2000, but it's not 2000. Remember, we had a decimal here. We had one digit behind the decimal in the factor, so we need one digit behind the decimal in our product, so it's just plain old 200. So our answer is going to be B. Now, if we didn't know how to do this and we just wanted to guess, our number one answer is probably going to be this right here because we're multiplying by a 0.5 and take a look at this. This is the only answer that has a 0.5 or any type of decimal in the answer. We might think, oh, 0.5 makes 0.5. Well, that would work, but we multiply this 0.5 by an even number, by 16. So that's going to um, make it actually turn into a 0.0 because it's going to carry over like we did here.